Welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Soda Perfume Reviews. So today, I'm very happy to be reviewing I Am Juicy Couture. This perfume um, I've actually had for quite some time and don't know why I haven't ever gotten around to reviewing it. I, You guys have requested it a lot and I was going to review it right when I got it. I actually shot the promotional picture for this a super long time ago when I first got it and for some reason couldn't, uh, never actually sat down to film it. So. Anyway, so this is I Am Juicy Couture, which is a brand new pillow fragrance launched by Juicy Couture this year, 2015. Um, definitely a little bit different from other things they've done, but still kind of plays it safe like I feel like most Juicy Couture fragrances do. And what is my hair doing today? Okay, this... Anyway. So, the box looks like this. It says I Am Juicy Couture here on the front. Juicy Couture Eau de Parfum Spray Vaporizer 3.4 ounce 100 milliliters. It's got this kind of white box with a pink and gold black frame. Or, yeah, pink and black frame, not gold. Words are in gold. White frame over here. You got all the information on the back, barcode on the bottom, and then the Juicy Couture logo on top. Um, the bottle looks like this this time. It says Juicy Couture on either side. Looks like this, and it's kind of this big, huge crystal. And this top is supposed to be a um, reminiscent of the like clasps that you when you put a bracelet on, and like the safety clasp that would go in between to hold it on. This is what this is, just enlarged. And then when I actually saw this bottle, um, when I first first saw the production images for this bottle and was kind of told about it, I knew the bottle looked like something and I couldn't figure out what it was. And I was watching the um, HSN like 14 minute special on this. And they turned the bottle like this almost, and I knew exactly what it was before I would have continued to watch the video. They actually said what it was. So if you turn the bottle upside down, this bottle is actually reminiscent of the Juicy Couture, like the Viva La Juicy lids that they did. So like, there's that. And then if I can like size compare them. See how they're like the same thing? It's just this one's actually a bigger version of it. I wonder what this would look like if you, like, that would just be weird. Anyway, so my only issue with this bottle is I really do like it. Oh, and then the bottom has this, like, um, encrusted JC on it, which the reason that's there is because if you turn the bottle the right way, it, like, reflects through the bottle. So, um, my only issue with this, and I'll actually post a picture right here about it, I really feel like this should have a bow on it. Um, I put one of the Juicy Couture bows on it just to see what it looks like, and I really like it with a bow on it. So maybe they'll do a special edition down the road and they'll actually put a bow on it. I just feel like all the other perfumes have had bows on it, this one should get a bow too. So, this one, um, like I said, it's a little bit different from what they else they've done in the past, but still kind of plays it safe. Um, this one has notes of raspberry, pimento, and passion fruit. The middle notes are Gardenia, Heliotrope, Sweet Pea, and Rose, with the base notes of Musk, Woods, Amber, and the f other note that nobody listed that I got told, um, Ambergris, which Ambergris is like the inside of a whale. Um, it was a, per a note that was used a lot in perfume in the older days, um, but it's a very expensive note to put in perfumes, so... I'm pretty sure it's in like things like Chanel and stuff like that. But anyway, so this is supposed to have ambergris in it. I personally don't smell the ambergris, but that's just me. So, when you first spray this, I get that raspberry straight off the bat. Um, I do get the passion fruit in there, kind of playing a backup role. But definitely it starts to go down to that heart really quickly, and it's a more floral fruity scent. Um, I get probably the most main that I get out of that middle is probably a mix with the Gardenia and the Heliotrobe. I feel the Rose plays a little bit of a backup role. I don't get a lot of Sweet Pea. I was actually kind of hoping, as you guys know, Sweet Pea is my favorite note um, to put in fragrances. I was kind of hoping there'd be more Sweet Pea in this, but there's not. Most times Sweet Pea is just used on its own, and that's mainly because when you add it to a fragrance, unless it's done really, really well, it just kind of gets lost in the floral transition, as I like to say. 
As it starts to dry down, though, definitely um, the amber is a standout note. I feel like this is a very um, warm fragrance with that amber note. It's probably It probably just, to me, is almost like amber with the raspberry with a little bit of floral behind them. I don't really particularly pick one floral that's more than the other. Um, it's kind of just like a heliotrope um, gardenia mix that gives that floral. But definitely as it dries down, that amber is really, really strong and really, really powerful. I do get a little bit of the warm woods, which adds a little bit more warmth to it along with the amber. The soft musk definitely kind of rounds out the fragrance, but I feel like thus um it's just kind of like um you take a piece of amber and like encrust some like if you were to take amber and encapsulate a couple gardenia, gardenia flowers a couple heliotrope flowers throw some raspberry in there and just encrust it in amber that's kind of what you're getting and then you got all these little like backup rolls but nothing that's too super out there this is a little bit different from everything else that they do have. I've said that before, but um, it does not smell like Juicy Couture. It does not smell like um, Couture La La to me. It doesn't have any like actual um, perfume, I think, that smells like it. Um, does not give me any like Viva La Juicy vibes or anything like that. Totally different. If you weren't a Juicy girl, if you weren't like a Viva La Juicy... I love this because it's candy and it's sweet. You'll definitely like this one. It's a little more on the fruity side, but definitely isn't overly fruity and, um... It's not definitely overly fruity, but it's also not definitely overly floral, if that makes sense. Um, it's a nice balance of the two, which I really, really like because it's nice to see that in fragrances. This isn't my favorite out of all of them. Um, Viva La Juicy La Flora still right, runs right up there as my favorite Viva La Juicy fragrance or Juicy Couture fragrance. So it's going to take a lot to beat that. But I do really like this one. It's not exactly what I was expecting. Um, I was expecting something a little more fruitier, a little more sweet. Um, I was really kind of hoping that Sweet Pea would really stand out in this fragrance. But unfortunately it doesn't. So um, as always guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Oh, wait. Forgot all that. Anyway, so about lasting times it's about I, I get about six to eight hours on it um definitely kind of a, a daytime springtime scent it doesn't um i don't think this could be like a strict season scent this is definitely something that could just be a daytime um daytime signature scent but definitely is a daytime scent i get about six to eight hours out of it so it definitely lasts you through the school or work day so as always guys thanks so so much for watching follow me on twitter a the s perfume instagram among the stars perfume links are in the description below and as always guys thanks so so much for watching bye